Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Zaffa Vlog brought to you from South Korea through the power of the internet and YouTube. And I am Zaffa Geek, if you will. So, what has been happening? Well, it is Chuseok, Korean Thanksgiving. Let me just silence my phone there. Uh, it is the Korean Thanksgiving, so I've got about three days off this week, starting from today. So it's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday I go back to work. It was, last week was an exciting week, or an interesting week, to say the least. It was, well, not really interesting. Scratch that. <laughs> it was a normal week, essentially. Had class, taught the students. Nothing much to write home about. One of the few weeks that nothing... Oh no. Oh no. Something brilliant happened last week. One of my third grade kids came up to me last week. And she gave me a set of indoor slippers. And with the indoor slippers, a little note saying... Sorrel teacher... This is for you because yours is broken. Because my indoor slippers has been wearing out a little bit, okay? A lot. At school. It's been wearing out a little bit, but it was comfortable. So I'm like, until I have no soles on my... Sh uh, until the shoes have no soles left, I'm going to wear them. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna freaking wear them. Because they were comfortable. And with that note, she drew, drew a little picture of a caricature of me smiling with the new shoes and me and her running like together somewhere or running with her little heart like and her name and I'm like it's really moving man it is it was really moving it was one of the best things uh, the best things that happened to me at school I almost forgot about it tells you how much a holiday will do to you hey <laughs> but it was one of the best things to happen at school to show to I mean, my, my simple rule with kids is treat everything they give to you as a gift from the gods. If it's a stone, if it's a flower petal. Hell, I'm not wearing it now because it clangs when I record, but my brother's daughter gave me because I have a locket, I, I wear a locket or a, a necklace, if you will, uh, with two rings on it. She gave me another necklace with the USB sticks cover at the one end. And I carry that every day. And my kids usually ask, why is that clanking noise there? And I show them. They're like, what's that? I'm like, it's a gift. Don't worry, it's a gift. So that is my secret with kids. Appreciate. If, if you have kids... And if you haven't, and obviously if you have kids, that is by default the thing you should do. Um, but if someone else's kid gives you something, a gift, be it a stone, a little rock, be it a, a, a dog turds you can think about, but any other gift, it's treated like it's a gift from the gods, you know? I've been watching a lot of uh, Vikings, that's why I say gift from the gods. And if you don't believe in a god, treat it like it's a gift from a celestial being, or from an alien, or whatever you believe in. Just treat it like that. And I was amazed. And another thing happened to me, and this is now a bit personal. This is a rambling vlog series, four minutes in, where I talk about stuff that happens to me. <laughs> Before I start started this recording today, I was showering because it's my... Th I have a thing about showering before I perform or before I go on camera for any reason whatsoever. Especially like, even when I Skype with my parents, I take a shower before the time just to feel refreshed and feel clean and everything. And I was showering and lots of soapy suds everywhere and everything and... Uh, and I'm busy washing like everything with the sponge or whatever. I'm like washing everywhere, just going crazy. I was just had this like, let me just scrub the skin clean, sort of. 
And I finished and I washed my face clean and everything and I looked around and there were like four or five bubbles just floating downwards. And I'm like, this is kind of cool. This is really, really kind of cool. These bubbles floating. And it was about, what, two seconds, maybe three seconds. But I was lost. For those three seconds, I was lost in the moment. And after I saw them, like, fell down and burst or whatever, the bubbles, I realized that that's something I don't do often enough, is to just stand still and experience the moment you find yourself in. Experience the pure innocence of the moment that you see around you. Be it the leaf falling from a tree. This world is truly beautiful and sometimes we live so fast that we don't see the beauty that's right there in front of us. Right? Just, just do that. Just see if you can find, at least one day this week, if you can find some beauty around you that you th never actually really notice. And then appreciate that. Appreciate the innocence of being stuck in a moment when nothing matters. That is, that is what life is all about. Those moments where you feel, truly feel, where you feel it true, where you truly feel alive. Those moments matter. And I'm saying this because I have been thinking a lot of about suicide lately. Uh, as you all know, I've lost a friend last year, at the end of last year, uh, to suicide. And I feel kind of depressed, kind of sad, not depressed, kind of sad that he has taken it upon himself to end his life and not be able to experience these little things that living can give you. Maybe he's experienced them and he had enough. I don't know his reasons, but that is why I try to share these things with you. Because I hope through one of these videos, if someone just stops thinking about suicide for a couple of seconds, I would have reached my goal with these videos especially when I talk about suicide that is um, and in other news I'm streaming let's get this a bit upbeat I'm streaming Fallout <laughs> I'm streaming Fallout this week I might be finishing it today or tomorrow depending I'm at that point in the game where I'm like I can almost finish it uh, my main goal is to finish it max level I'm not going to try and 100% everything. I'm just going to try and finish at max level. And then I'm going to switch over to a bit of Stasis. And then the South African game Stasis. And then switch over to a more horror-themed game playthrough for the rest of the month of October. Which means I might have to buy a couple of horror games. But that is my plan on Twitch. And another thing that I have to tell you about is I'm actually live on Patreon. I'm going to stand up a bit. Oh. I'm going to stand up a bit like this so that the Patreon address can go over here. Blah, 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 blah. Patreon. I've got a Patreon, which basically means I'm, I'm essentially asking you guys to support me. I will still create the content free and everything, but I'd... I've been struggling for about a year and a half now on YouTube, more than a year and a half on YouTube. And I'm really hoping that Patreon will show me the that some of my content that you that someone supports me through Patreon so that I can make better and better content. Uh, just go onto the Patreon page right here and check it out. And check it out, you'll see. Uh, what it's all about and what my plans are. I am aiming to be a full-time streamer and with your help we can do it. With your help we can do it and I can release better content. Maybe get a little green screen at the back there and talk and then flames erupt behind me or or 
a little Pikachu runs behind and shock me and I go and I fall down. You know, stuff that I want to do on camera, that I want to do and edit and everything. And that is the main goal for Patreon, to fund my, my not my lifestyle, but my living costs. That's the main reason for Patreon, to fund my living costs and then spending all of my time producing videos and content that I know you deserve and you want from me. And uh, that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. So until next time, you know what? You should leave. The word for the week is innocence. Innocence of the moment. Innocence, innocence of the moment. Try and try and release, try and use that in the comments below. What made you, what in recent memory made you stop and just appreciate the smaller things in life? In my case, it was the soap bubbles, the three or four soap bubbles that flew down. But what, what happened in your life that did that? And what makes you appreciate life more? And as I tried to say a couple of seconds ago, that is that. And until next time, you should have a good one.